thermal gold silver deposits definition the term epithermal was used by Lindgren in 1913 to refer to those hydrothermal ore deposits that formed in a relatively near surface environment Today we know this is from about 50 meters down to 1500 meters below the surface with temperatures between 100 and 400 degrees centigrade and low pressures. Surface expressions of these near surface deposits are hot springs. Most geologists think of epithermal deposits as being mainly continental and associated with sub-area geothermal systems. However, volcanogenic massive sulfide and sedimentary exhalative deposits are certainly in the epithermal group. Ore minerals, production and size. Ore elements associated with epithermal gold-silver deposits include gold, silver, antimony, arsenic and mercury. The correspondent minerals are native gold and silver, uh, argentite, tenonite, tenonite, energite, gold, tellurides, electrum, stibnite, and cinnabar. Minor elements are tellurium, copper, zinc, lead, and bismuth, represented by chalcopyrite, coelite, sapphirite, galena, and bismuthite. Most epithermal gold silver deposits are obviously mined for gold and or silver with individual deposits varying from gold rich silver or gold ratios less than 10 to silver rich silver gold ratios from 20 to 200. Open pit methods are used for large low grade deposits 1 to 2 gram per ton gold. 70 to 90 gram per ton silver with gold in oxidized supergene or being amenable to low cost heap leach treatment. Underground mining is generally used for smaller, higher grade deposits 10 to 100 gram per ton gold or greater than 500 gram per ton silver. In these deposits, great control is essential and difficult because gold and silver values can vary dramatically over just a few meters. Tenacious mines often depend on grade with low grade deposits needing more gold bearing rock. Generally tenacious will be in the hundreds of millions. Distribution and age. Most known epithermal deposits are tertiary in age which goes along with their near surface level of formation and thus low level of preservation. However, old deposits are being recognized, including those that are metamorphosed and extensively recrystallized. Most deposits are closely associated with convergent plate boundaries, continental and island arcs. Epithermal deposits thus form in areas of active volcanism where there is high heat, flow tectonic activity, and active geothermal systems. Classification and deposit types Based on the nature of the ore forming fluids as well as the type of volcanic host rocks, alteration assemblages, and ore minerals, epithermal gold silver deposits have been divided into two groups. Number one, low sulfidation deposits, also called the Adularia sericite class. Number two, high sulfidation deposits, these are also called the acid sulfite or alunite kaolinite pyrophyllite class. The term sulfidation is used here to describe stabilities of sulfur bearing minerals in terms of sulfur fugacities, partial pressure. Low sulfidation epithermal gold silver deposits. Historically, most gold production from volcanic rock hosted epithermal deposits have come from this type. Regional steam. This deposit type in terms of tectonic setting is related to Baycott basins 
continental margins and island arcs. The deposits form at shallow depths and are associated with regional faults that control volcanism and are relatively long-lived. For example, the, Com the Comstock, uh, Ottman, Bullfrog, and uh, Tunifa epithermal districts line up along what is called the Walker Land in Nevada, and the deposits in the San Juan Mountains are related to the Rio Grande Drift. Local setting. Low sulfidation deposits are commonly associated with calderas and, to a lesser extent, strato volcanoes. However, in the case of calderas, it needs to be realized that just because you have identified a caldera does not mean you will necessarily find a gold deposit. In fact, most calderas contain no gold mineralization. In the San Juan Mountains, only one-third of the known calderas are mineralized. Within calderas, the ore deposits occur. A. Within permeable rock units like ash flow tufts, dome breccias, debris flows, and especially where these units are in proximity to thin volcanic faults, thus margins of calderas and dome flow complexes are common environments. B. In the case of stratovolcanoes, the gold mineralization is typically associated with faults along the flanks of the volcano and a permeable rock units such as air fall deposits, debris flows, and ash flow tufts. Host rocks are dominantly tertiary to quaternary in age and a rhyodacite, rhyolite, and andesite in composition. Rhyolitic host rocks tend to be enriched in molybdenum, tungsten, fluorine, niobium, and tin. It has been proposed that these epithermal deposits represent the upper parts of porphyry molybdenum deposits, but the claim has not been proven. Mineralogy the mineralogy of the ore is characterized by veins of edularia and a sericite with quartz. Other common associate minerals are chlorite, rhodochrosite, rhodonite, pyrite, and fluorite. Pyrite is ubiquitous and it may be accompanied by cinnabar, arsenopyrite, and or stibnite. The ore minerals are electrum gold with 20% silver, native gold, native silver, gold telorides, argentite, tenantite, chalcopyrite, and a tetrahedrite. These occur as replacements of the host strokes and in single veins or wind stock works. Alteration. It and above the water table, the rocks tend to be silicified and the alunite often is present with the quartz. The silicification is due to boiling of the hydrothermal fluid and the precipitation of quartz as silica center. Below the water table, clay minerals, kaolinite, sericite, and manganese, carbonate are the common alteration products. This alteration gives way outward to a zone of epidote, albite, and carbonates with or without pyrite and chloride. This alteration type is similar to propolytic alteration in porphyry copper deposits is quite extensive and may have formed prior to ore deposits. Zonation of ore minerals. Above the water table to the surface, there may be native gold and or silver with minor stibnite and snevar. This will be a low-grade zone with the ore minerals occurring as disseminations and fracture fillings. At and just below the water table, boiling zone can find native gold and silver, gold telorides, stibnite, and arsenopyrite. These minerals occur dominantly as fracture fillings with some replacement ore, 
this will be the high grade ozone. Below water table can find electron, argentine, tetrahedrite, and arsenopyrite as fracture fillings and replacement ore. Deeper zones, greater than 600 meter, may have galena, cephalerite, chalcopyrite, and or molybdenite. Paleo depth of orb fluid. From geological reconstructions and fluid inclusion studies, the low sulfidation deposits form between 100 to 1000 meters below the surface. The ore floods have low salinity, 1 to 5 percent in ASEA, a near neutral pH, and they contain carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and NaCl as dominant species. The temperatures of the fluid was between 200 and 300 degrees centigrade. The composition of the fluid is similar to many active geothermal systems dominated by meteoric water and a magnetic gas such as the broadlands in New Zealand. The amount of magnetic gas fluids is between 10 to 30 percent and thus the fluid represents a mixture of meteoric water and a magmatic hydrothermal fluid. High sulfidation epithermal gold silver deposits. Tectonic setting. These deposits occur in continental margins, island arcs, and big arc basins. They form in active volcanic areas where intrusions are near the surface. Thus, like the low sulfidation gold silver deposits, they are associated with strato volcanoes and calderas. Depositional environment and the geological setting. Within calderas, the deposits commonly occur along the margins or near syn volcanic structures within host rocks that range from doom flow complexes and ash flow tufts to hilo tufts associated with tuff rings and mars. What is Mars? A Mars is a broad, low relief volcanic crater caused by a uh, phreatomagnetic eruption. Phreatomagnetic, an explosion which occurs when groundwater comes into contact with hot lava or magma. These low sulfidation deposits are postulated to represent the near surface expression of porphyry copper deposit systems. Mineralogy. These deposits are characterized by alunite, white powdery, fine-grained earthy variety, anergite, and a pyrite with or without coelite, quartz, and barite. The ore and the gong occurs as disseminations, fracture fillings, and replacements. Wind ore is subordinate to these other types. Ore minerals are native gold Energite, tenantite, argentite, tetrahedrite, bismuthonite, and gold telorides. Alteration. Characterized by extensive leaching of the volcanic rocks, with are most often associated with the more intense alteration. From the surface down to the water table, we'll find alunite, kaolinite, and porphyrite with native sulfur and some cinnabar as well as quartz, chalcalcerne. There may be extensive zones of silicif uh, silification, eight and just below water table. The ore minerals occur beneath this silicified uh, zone, and the alteration here is uh, sericite, elonite, kaolinite, quartz, opal chert, which gives way laterally to kaolinite and Mount Morillonite that grades out into a propolite alteration zone. With depth, porphyrite and a diaspore take the place of kaolinite. The ore minerals found here are energite, native gold, electrum, stebnite with minor native silver. 
this gives way downward to tetrahedrite, genetite, bismuthnite, and the chalcopyrite. Paleo depth of foundation, uh, formation 100 to 600 meters below the surface. Hydrothermal fluids have a low pH less than 1 to 3 are saline 10 to 30 percent and dominated by H2S, HCl, H2SO4 and SO2. These are characteristic of magmatic hydrothermal fluids that enter the near surface environment with little or no interaction with meteoric water. Surface expression of these low pH water are Softera's acid legs Softara, a volcanic crater emitting sulfurous and other gases. Abundant native sulfur, realgar, and a or piment. Examples include White Island, New Zealand, and Oso Resin, Japan. Hot Spring Deposits Hot Spring Gold Deposits, which includes siliceous chart, centers, and the created lower zones have many modern geothermal systems and may be associated with either low or high sulfidation deposits. Their surface formation makes them very vulnerable to surface weathering and uh, uh, erosion and thus their preservation is poor. In these deposits, or was precipitated within 100 meters of the surface due to the direct interaction of the hydrothermal fluid with surface waters. The surface manifestations are mud ports, soft taras, thermal pools, and siliceous centers. Deposits tend to occur as disseminations and winds and may be associated with hydrothermal breccias. Hot spring gold deposits, which include silicia. Gold mineralization is native. Gold and electrum with associated arsenic, antimony, mercury, thallium, silver, and sometimes tungsten. Today, some active geothermal fluids are Fields are precipitating gold at 12 heads of geothermal power stations and at the surface in hot spring, also risen Japan. Also risen is a stratovolcano with a crater lake at its top. The lake is occupied by a lava dune which has been dated at 0 0.17 million years. Hydrothermal <coughs> venting occurs along uh, seen volcanic faults. There is a young intrusion at depth which supplies both heat and uh, floods. At Osorizen, two kinds of hydrothermal water have been identified. Number one, saline pool floored associated with fractures and uh, faults around the edges of the lava dome. There is no gall in these fluids, but you do have minor antimony and arsenic. The fluid is low in sulfur and it has been postulated. Any gold would have precipitated a depth. Number two, saline rich fluids. Again, these are discharged along faults and fractures at the bottom of lake. Water is high in arsenic, lots of native sulfur and gold which precipitates with arsenic. This floor is uh, magmatic hydrothermal. Thank you so much.